So this poor man, captain of the Maui Police Department, not only had to experience and is still going through all this madness of Lahaina fires, he also is one of the first responders to the mass, you know, in Las Vegas where Jason Aldean was performing. Hmm. You see, that's why I question things, because there's a lot of questions, right? And it's usually all connected. So let's see what Mr. Captain, let's, let's check in to him. What some say is a hostile work environment. This all comes after months of complaints about how low morale at the Maui Police Department is happening. Some say the climate is pushing many officers to consider leaving the force. KITV4's Ali Iduklo has new details about the ongoing strife at MPD. Maui Police Chief John Pelletier has been on the job for about seven months now and has racked up seven official work environment complaints. The employees who filed the grievances don't want to speak out because of fear of retaliation, but former ranking officers speaking on their behalf tell me one involves a woman who was cursed at during the meeting and that working under Pelletier has led her and several others to seek help from psychiatrists and anxiety medication. It wasn't a leadership, it was a dictator. Kai also retired early because of Pelletier's management. Holokai and Hankins agree the internal friction at MPD is unprecedented. For Holokai, he believes the stress of working under Pelletier even took a physical toll on him. In about two months, I lost about 15 to 20 pounds working under him. Hearing the complaints from employees at MPD, the police union surveyed 60% of its personnel back in April, with a third of them reporting they are thinking of leaving within the next two years. Many citing morale as a top reason for considering a departure. The Maui Police Department is already 100 officers short. The results were, were, were quite alarming. Workers surveyed also gave Pelletier poor scores on 12 out of 13 categories. One question asked whether the the chief fosters strong morale with most responding not very well but he's still the chief so but you notice the words that they were used they said that they didn't like the climate i caught that one it was a dictatorship they fear him so much that they were losing weight they were going out and seeking medication yeah that's a little weird right hmm so then I started digging and I kept digging and I couldn't really find anything about him in Las Vegas, which I thought was very odd since he was one of the first responders for that mess, you know. Um, but I did find that this guy, Hank the Third, he was the chief of Maui, um, and it looks like he also came from Vegas with Captain John. They came from Las Vegas together, and then he quit after 10 months, and people could, people don't know why. So, questions are lingering over why Maui County's deputy chief is retiring just after 10 months on the job. Charles Hank III was recruited by Maui Police Chief John whatever after they worked together in Las Vegas for years. Hmm. So then I started looking into little uh, Charles Hank III here. Here's his LinkedIn, and that is him self-employed national fbi academy huh so see that could just be a police academy but you know not everybody can go there you do have to be invited <laughs> so that tells me that he knows people maybe and has connections with people but why did he quit he worked with this other guy for years and then he moved to maui and couldn't take it Hmm. Yeah, there's too many questions. Too many questions surrounding this whole thing. I don't trust any of them.